For the first time in almost three years, the Northeast Ohio office and industrial market has shown positive absorption. Hi, my name is Terry Coyne and you're watching The Coyne Report. First, we'll start off with the office market. The Northeast Ohio office market is gaining steam going into the second half of 2011. During the second quarter, there was 193,000 square feet of positive net absorption, the largest growth in occupancy since year-end 2008. In this same period, vacancy decreased by 30 basis points and ended the quarter at 21.9%. Currently, 628,000 square feet is under construction in the Central Business District between two multi-tenant developments. The largest suburban development underway is the 580,000 square foot Eaton Corporation in the East Suburban Market, which will be owner-occupied upon completion and after they relocate from the CBD in 2013. The CBD experienced some notable gains with 143,000 square feet of positive net absorption in the second quarter. Several technology companies such as Rosetta and MCPC wanted to be part of the downtown revitalization and relocated from the suburbs. MCPC began relocating from an industrial building in Strongsville to over 45,000 square feet in the Class B Plain Dealer Building at 18th and Superior. The location offers free parking and room to construct an additional 50,000 square foot technology center. Cliffs Natural Resources expanded into the 50,000 square foot sublease vacated by PNC Bank at 200 Public Square, formerly known as the BP Building. Cliffs will continue their growth through the rest of the year, eventually occupying 200,000 square feet and becoming the largest tenant in the building. During the second half of the year, in the West Suburban Market, the developer of Crocker Park Lifestyle Center in Westlake is expected to receive final approval for a new office building. American Greetings recently renewed their commitment to remain in Northeast Ohio and announced plans for their corporate relocation from Brooklyn, a Cleveland suburb, to the mixed-use development. Faro Corporation revealed plans to move their downtown headquarters to 6060 Parkland in Mayfield Heights in the east submarket. Novellus vacated the 63,000 square foot building in the fourth quarter of 2010 after consolidating operations in Atlanta. Faro signed a long-term lease in Mayfield Heights and will be vacating their headquarters in the downtown on Lakeside near East 9th Street. In the South Market, BF Goodrich Landing Gear completed their 40,000 square foot move into 6225 Oak Tree in Independence. Now let's talk about the industrial market. Manufacturing is driving recovery. The Northeast Ohio industrial market is continuing to show gradual signs of improvement. The second quarter vacancy dropped to 12%, down 70 basis points. Modern buildings with a minimum of 24-foot clearance continue to be scarce, accounting for only 2.1% of the overall vacancy. Absorption was a net positive of 316,000 square feet, but vacancy was mainly impacted by the removal of 1.7 million square feet of vacant industrial product that was demolished. This decreased the statistical base and accompanying vacancy, which accounted for 60 basis points of the quarterly improvement. Other long, vacant manufacturing buildings were converted to alternative use, also lowering vacancy. One significant example of this is 5500 Walworth in Cleveland. The 110,000 square foot, 90-year-old manufacturing building was purchased by New Wave Plastic for $7.50 a square foot. After outgrowing their 20,000 square foot building in Medina, they purchased and converted this building into a plastic and scrap metal recycling center. The largest sale during the second half of 2011 was the former Twinsburg stamping plant, which shuttered in 2010 as part of Chrysler's bankruptcy reorganization. Local developer DiGeronimo families and the Skinnell properties out of Indianapolis purchased the 2.2 million square foot building that sits on 167 acres for $9.1 million. This was also the largest demolition in the quarter as the new owners demolished 1.4 million square feet of the low bay, leaving 800,000 square feet of high bay space. The city of Twinsburg has limited land for industrial development, so this demolition provides 120 acres in a prime industrial and distribution corridor adjacent to Interstate 480, 
with rail access to the property. Another major demolition was the 260,000 square foot cold storage building on West 14th Street, famous for its freeway signage, which was demolished to accommodate the new Interbelt Bridge already underway. This trend will continue as later this year, Ford plans to raise their 1 million square foot casting plant in Brook Park, which is part of the larger complex on Henry Ford Boulevard. New speculative development is still non-existent and projects remain in the planning stages. However, build to suits are beginning to gain steam. The largest build to suit is for Best Buy's 368,000 square foot distribution center in Streetsboro. Several manufacturers need to increase capacity but are choosing to expand in their existing location if possible. One example is Engineered Material Handling, a Valley City based company, which is doubling its size and beginning to build a 60,000 square foot addition. They produce cranes for manufacturing facilities and EMH's expansion is required to accommodate increased demand for their product, which is expected to surpass pre-recession levels. As you can see with the office and industrial market update, our markets have turned around to levels not seen since 2007. Once again, my name is Terry Coyne and you're watching The Coyne Report.